one ring at 40 cents. It was absolutely incredible. That is an amazing deal. If you really want to stretch your ring is here, the Totling Street's a good spot. A couple of really good uh, cheap eat spots here. We're gonna hit up two legendary ones right here. We're trying to keep it with very iconic street foods here in this video. If you know it, you know it. <laughs> if you know, you know. We are right here. Yes. So if you saw our Malaysian Food in New York City video, we'll put a card up here for that. We tried Apam Balik at a spot called Les Makan in Chinatown. Uh, it's a different style of Apam Balik than this one. That one's more of the thinner, crisper style. This is more of a spongier style. So this one looks really nice. It has a cool looking texture on the sides here. Uh, let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh man. This one has such a nice, rich peanut flavor. So many peanuts in here, it's nice and sweet. Not really buttery, I know there's some butter in here, but it's not very buttery. You really get the peanut and the sweet. If you're a peanut lover, this is absolutely your dessert. It's so good. And now I'm gonna go try the coconut version. This one is like really spongy. Looks really like, this one looks a lot like pancakes. So it's a similar look to the other one, but it doesn't have a crispy edge on the back like the Apam Balik with the peanuts does. So let's take a bite. Mm. This one's really creamy, silky smooth. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna go with the peanut Apam Balik. We differ here on that one. But the beauty of this is something we can all agree with, that this is an incredible buy for two ringgit, 20 cents. You really can't go wrong. And he can support his OG uncle right here. He's the man. Uncle has been making this for a very long time. but the only thing missing is sago. We got this lovely, warm Taofu Fa right here from the legendary Kim Soya Bean right here, Taling Street. Probably the most popular street vendor here in Taling Street, if not one of the most. Mm. So smooth and silky. That brown sugar is not too sweet. Always gotta get it with the brown sugar. Mm. It's a little gingery too, that's what I like about it. There's the brown sugar syrup, but it also has a slight gingery taste to it too. I love that even though it's brown sugar, it's not too sweet. Complements it so perfectly, it's just so smooth. There's a reason why this is a legendary spot. I must try it, and two ring it, how can you go wrong? This is, this is good for everybody. Even the vegans can get down with it. Yeah. Mostly everybody. This one right here, it's very warm, it's very fresh for two ringgit. It tastes like the whole without sago. We are at Mansion Bustle here in Masjid, India. And whoa, look at this. So looking forward to having this right now. So here at Mansion Tea Stall, they're known for one thing in particular. Actually, no, for two things. We got them both. Of course, with Mansion Tea Stall, you gotta get tea. So they have the, they call their tan ding dong. It's awesome. You can see them pulling it from that high level. It's got that beautiful foam right here. Oh, let's take a sip of that first. Wow. You can really get that tea flavor, but it's mixed perfectly with the milk. This is hot, serve hot too. Really probably one of the best tetadik I've ever had. This one is incredible. It's a really well-balanced tetadik, wow. The main event here is, this is what we came here for, is the roti banjir. So the roti banjir really means a flooded roti. So it's like a roti tonight, they make it fresh. 
and then they flood it in this curry right here and they also serve it with two lovely poached eggs like you cannot cook an egg better than this and then you got on the side the samba so i'm gonna try just the roti banjir by itself before mixing in everything else and this beautiful orange curry it smells absolutely phenomenal This is before we even get into the egg or anything like that. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Ooh. What a show. Well, that's just exploding with flavor. We've got all that flavor from the curry it's a fish curry you got like a lot of spice in there the cumin and the turmeric you know all the good stuff a curry should have it's just flavor explosion now we're gonna add it in and make it extra special <laughs> Those yolky eggs add such a nice creamy element to it. Wow. And now I'm gonna take it to another level on top of that. I'm gonna mix in some of the sambal right here. The sambal's got some ikan bilis inside, so I'm gonna mix that up. Mm -hmm. This is just absolutely incredible right here. The sambal adds a little bit of sweetness. It's got that crunch from the ikan bilis inside too. Mix it in with the yolk. Mix it in with that amazing fragrant curry. And you've got the uh, texture of the roti. So at this point, since it's flooded, it's a bungee, it's not really crispy. So you do get some crispy flaky edges on the outside. Man, this is, you can't get a better breakfast than this. You know we're not eating this for breakfast right now. I'll probably eat this for breakfast every single day. That's how good it is. So much flavors in here. The place is famous for good reason. A must try your kale. That roti banjir cost us three ringgit and 40 cents. That is an amazing deal. So we're here in Brickfield's bustling little India here in KL. There's one stall, very famous here for pisang goreng, fried banana. And this only runs you one ringgit 40 cents. It's absolutely incredible. It's so bustling, this corner is so busy. You have tons of grab delivery drivers coming to pick this up. So you actually had to wait quite a while for it, but they're made fresh. It's really hot right now, fresh out of the fryer. Let's take a bite. Mmm. Oh, wow. Banana is so nice and sweet. That crust is so airy and crispy. You know it's fried, it's not very oily too. That's what's so perfect about this. One of the best fried banana I've ever eaten. I'll tell you that. Ever since the first time we tried it, incredible. You have to come and try this when you're at KL. The next stop, we got a really nice chendol right here. It's from Suleiman's famous chendol here in Kuru. So this is it. You see him grind it up fresh, the ice. You got the coconut milk, the gula malate here, and you got the beautiful pandan noodles here, the chendo noodles. It smells so good. It's so hot out here, really thirsty. Mm. Wow. I really like it. It's like you get that clean pandan flavor. Not too sweet. That's what I love about it. It's already melting. Let it sit for a little bit, but so got some ice here. Such a, a nice balance of the coconut milk, the pandan flavor, like gula malaka, it's, and the ice is really nice chendo here. It's like simple, classic, can't go wrong on a hot day with this. This is 1.5 ringgit. So we're at Roti John at Titi Wangsa. I got daging special with cheese, and Greg has I am special, oh, but no cheese. Roti John is an iconic street food here in KL. Just in Malaysia in general, but especially this spot in KL is very well known. It's got an interesting story behind it. So 
This is what the story we've heard was, is that a Westerner was looking for a burger. They didn't have it. So the grill man just kind of improvised and used the uh, meat, chopped it up, and then put the egg, bread, mixed it all together, and then told him, here's your roti, John. John's kind of like a word for the Westerner, just kind of a generic name for Westerner. So that's what he's going by. And you see it's like constant, non-stop. The guy's just like working that riddle like all night long. They open at 4.30, and he's just going. See him, it's like, it's amazing to see him putting that fresh omelet down. He's putting the bread on it. Notorious Roasted John is about to go down. So I got the I am special. So it's just the chicken, the egg, no cheese. We're gonna try it just like this. It's a very colorful, funky looking dish right here. You can imagine eating this at like 3 a.m. after a lot of drinks. This is a perfect food to soak up all the food. So when you cut it, you can really see the layers here. You see the minced up piece of chicken. Uh, looks like there is some sort of red sauce here. Uh, the final dish looks like a chili sauce, but we'll see. And we'll see what this uh, creamy yellow sauce is. Probably some sort of mayo. So, you definitely gotta get a fry in there too. Alright, let's do this. Mm. That's a very sweet sauce. Um, almost like a mixture of like, kind of like a barbecue sauce in a way. Very slight spice to it. And it's sweet, maybe like a sweet chili sauce. So let's try a little piece of the chicken. See this thing? It's just like a messy, sloppy. We love eggs on sandwiches, burgers, anything like that. This kind of way is like a little bit of a burger style. It's almost it reminds me of a little bit of a Romney burger, but with different kind of sauces and the fries and much more egg and less meat. The more I eat this, the more I think of like some like foods in America this kind of reminds me of. So it's kind of like in ways the beef one kind of reminds me of like a Philly cheesesteak in a way, except with the ground beef and with a lot of egg. It's just like very sloppy and just like on this big, this big roll, it's like very soft. But inside they put, you have the barbecue sauce, you have this chili sauce, this mayo sauce, and uh, even a little bit of uh, cabbage in there too for a little bit of crunch. And that also kind of reminds me of like the uh, Dominican chimichurri. So you have like the mayo sauce, kind of like a mayo ketchup and the uh, cabbage like that. So yeah, there's also scallion and sometimes a little bit of chilies in that omelet mixture. So this is good. And if you want to stay cheap, for the guidelines of this video, we're going to stay cheap. So, it's not even going to be fun. But if you can get the IOM special, four and a half ringgit. So, four ringgit, 50 cents. And that's a great value. So, we're staying right on target here.